One of our famous presidents, Abraham Lincoln, had a proclamation. It's called Proclamation Number no. 7. 97, I should say. I'm Because I'm a new American, I read these things because I want to know the core of our great nation. And it's totally, totally centered on this relationship with God. Read, Google it, Proclamation 97. I don't have time to say it right now. But what it is, it's an appeal to heaven. It's saying, Lord, yeah, there's a lot of messes in America, but overall, there's a lot of amazing people in this country. There's a lot of people that come against conservative biblical values, whether you're Catholic or Baptist or you're Mormon or whatever you might be. The key is, is that we can all appeal to heaven and say, God, please help us. Please help us. Whether you come from a Jewish background or whatever background you are, do you know that everyone here, whether you're an atheist, do you know that God loves you and you can appeal to heaven today? So my message today is that the Bible says, and I want the worship team to come up, please. The Bible says that he'll do exceedingly abundantly more than you can even ask or think. So, Mr. President, I came to encourage you today and to tell you thank you. Thank you. To tell you there's more with you than against you. And the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20, And God will do exceedingly abundantly more than you ask or even think. You know what happened to Nehemiah? Not only did he get permission, not only did he get the pass, you know what he got? They say that generals went with him and an army went with him. He hadn't asked for the generals to follow. He hadn't asked for an army to follow. So I'm going to proclaim something over every one of your lives and of course our president and his team. Do you know how many angels are surrounding this place right now? Because you've chosen to stand for good things. For po- you've chosen to use your life for good, Mr. President. Because I've been, thank God, I've been privy to some of the things you're doing behind the scenes that the media won't talk about. But I need to tell you this right now. Heaven has sent His angels to protect you. Heaven has sent an army of angels... There was a time in the prophet's life where he was surrounded by the enemy and his servant, his armor bearer said, Oh man, they're going to kill us, they're going to kill us, they're going to kill us. And and the prophet says, No, there's more with us than against us. And and then he kept sending the the servant out. And he says, Do you see anybody helping us yet? No, we don't see anything. It's bad. It's really bad. And he kept coming back and back. Go out and look again. Before you know it, all of a sudden, all the heavens open up with the angels. So I'm unashamed to say this. I'm a Christian. I have a relationship with Jesus Christ. I'm appealing to heaven right now to bless this president, to bless his bride, Melania, first lady, to bless his children, to bless his children's children. And it may be a mess right now, sir, but God chose a fighter to straighten this out. So as you're all standing, can you stretch out your hand to our president one more time? And we're asking, Lord, that you will bless this man. He leaves with the blessing. 